is the path to artificial general intelligence. All the leading AI labs in, are now racing towards developing their own um, algorithms for this area. These include Google's DeepMind, Anthropic, and OpenAI. Each lab has its own particular approach, and, uh, for, and there are many different pathways to trying to achieve AGI. There is no one given way. However, we can say that they're these are broadly falling into three broad categories. The first category is scaling. Scaling is basically the good old model, uh, approach which has given us chat GPT. The idea is simple. You train, make the model very huge, trillions and trillions of parameters, train it on lots and lots of data, which is not necessarily now just text data, but also includes video data, audio data, etc. With this, the model develops its own internal intellig uh, intelligence and um, you know becomes increasingly capable. The challenge with this approach is the black box approach continues and um, many leading AI researchers now such as Elia Satskava feel that this is not going to lead to AGI. The second approach is um, reinforcement learning agentic approach. Here the idea is that the AI algorithm, it does not operate in isolation, it operates in an environment, it carries out tasks, it receives feedback from the environment, it seeks to achieve goals, it is a self-learning algorithm. It is rewarded by, it learns in, as a result of rewards and penalties. It, in this set of algorithms, we also have, um, we incentivize the algorithm to learn by following curiosity and by following novel, no, you know, novel solutions so that it doesn't get just stuck in the uh, a loop of learning. The challenge with these kind of algorithms is that the lack of, that it is much tougher to control them. The, uh, the algorithm may just decide to explore in directions which you do not necessarily want it to go in. The third type of algorithm which is getting uh, approach which is getting very popular is neurosymbolic uh, uh, architectures. This is basically your traditional artificial intelligence generative AI models um, paired with a neurosymbolic um, engine. The pattern recognition capabilities of a deep learning model are used for pa pattern recognition and understanding the data and the neurosymbolic uh, uh, model will be then providing logical structures, systems of logic and reasoning to the model. These models are um, as at a fairly nascent stage. So there is still a lot of development happening but it is considered a promising approach. Which approach wins? No one can say. It is likely to be a hybrid of all of them. If you like cutting-edge trends in AI, follow me at AI Economics for more.